Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have um, what is, uh, by the setter's words, supposed to be beginner friendly, which I have no problem with doing beginner friendly, but it's also, they say it should be uh, fun puzzles for those who are experienced in Sudoku puzzles. So uh, it sounds fun. Uh, like today's a good day for to not have to think too hard. <laughs> because I've been thinking too hard this week for some reason. Uh, so this sounds like a nice, pleasant puzzle to get into. Uh, with that said, it's called First Frost by Asveril. And I've, I've done puzzles by Asveril before, maybe one or two, I think, at this point. Uh, but that said, let's take a look at the rule sets and see what we can do on this one. Uh, again, this is not supposed to be a difficult puzzle. It's supposed to be a nice, relaxed fun one so that's going to be nice so let's get into it so first off we have normal sudoku supply so every row every column and every three by three box contains the digits one through nine once each then we have the slow thermometer which i like because we don't use slow thermometers tons of times a lot of times they're just the normal thermos but anyway slow thermometers digits along slow thermometers must either stay the same or increase from the bulb to the tip so in a slow thermometer this is the bulb this is the tip the numbers start here, and they either increase or stay the same. So like in this case, it could be 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, something along those lines. And then the only other rule set we have here is Kropke dots. So cells separated by a black dot have a 1 to 2 ratio. These guys are black dots. So whatever this digit is, this one is half or double of it. And then cell separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So we've got a couple of those shown around. These are just consecutive digits. Uh, they have to be uh, one away from each other. And then not all dots are given. So there is no negative constraint. So well, that's all I've got to say for this one in, in an intro. Uh, I think I was a little long-winded in the last intro I did or the last couple intros ago. So let's keep it short and sweet, just like hopefully this puzzle will be. Uh, that said, link is in the description below. Let's get started. So I'm sure we can, because of the excessive length of our slow thermo. I'm sure we can start to determine what our bare minimums here can be. So what is the highest this digit can ever be? I think it's going to be three, because if it's four, it's four, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Yeah, so four doesn't work. So this is one, two, or three. This one will probably go up to four then, right? Because it could be four, five, 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 six, six, six. Actually, this one can get quite a bit higher. I didn't realize this because it crosses over much more, or many more boxes. Five, six, 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 seven, 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 eight. So this could even go up to a six. I'm gonna start putting in some of these options. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, and I don't, like this crop key that's, bordering these two is going to be quite interesting. I think it might make sense to to start with this guy and kind of roll with it because he's the most uh, restricted. So I'm just going to put in all of our options right now so we can just have that visual of what everything is because it's going to give us something up here, at least for uh, possibilities. And that's what we end up at. Now, let's see if we can take this and go backwards with it. Now, this clearly can't be a nine. So it could be eight, seven, six, or maybe five. I think five does work, right? Five, 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 four, four, four. Yeah, it absolutely does. And then we might actually get like a quintuple here. These could be six, seven, eight, or nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we do get a quintuple of digits. So these are all from one, two, three, four. Don't necessarily have to write those in, but I'm going to anyway. Now, let's look at this one and this one, because they're going to give us some decent information. This can't, neither one of these could be a five, because we can't put a five on a black crop key. So if these are a three or a four, this is going to have to be, I think we're going to start to limit what these can be particularly this one because it crosses over our thermos. This is a three, this has to be a six. 
six, seven, 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 eight still works. If this is a four, it could actually go down to a two, which is interesting because it'd be two, 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 one. It absolutely cannot go up to an eight though, because if it was eight, it'd be eight, nine, 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 ten. So we have reduced this down to a two or a six. Now, if this is a two or a six, this clearly can't get up to a six. We go six, 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 five. Mark of the devil. Uh, I was hoping we would get something here as well where we could do the same thing. We have a one, two, three, four type situation, but the five still remaining here doesn't quite allow us to do that. Now, again, this crop is not going to be as powerful because it's not on a slow thermo, but it could be six, two, or eight. What else can we then say from this? Is there anything again that we can start figuring out what all of these digits could be and that might start breaking down some more things? So let's really look at what these can be. That could go up to seven. That's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because we can never, because there's a seven in these two, we can never break this all down into a quintuple or was a sextuple, I think it's six of them. But what we can say, I guess, and we can probably look at it this way, is we have to have a one and a nine in, didn't mean to do that version of it. Ones and nines must go in here. We can do something with the nines here as well, saying this could, one of these two has to be a nine. One of these two looks like it has to be a five. So those interactions might be more important. Let's see if that's the case. Because we're going to, again, know none of these can be nines. No, none of those could be. Yeah, it puts a nine down in here somewhere. So that it, this might be kind of the better place to look as to where things or this type of process of looking at it might be a little bit more interesting to work with. I'm wondering if this creates a quintuple. Can we go above five here? So this is five. We've got five, six, six, six. Yeah, we can absolutely go above five. That's a shame. Okay, all right, <clears throat> so with that said, we now have to figure out the rest of these digits, and, I th and hopefully we'll get to some point where we have enough done. Now, if this is two, these are all twos, and then this is the one. Otherwise, we could have sixes, fives, fours, and threes. Now, if this could get up to only a six, 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 seven, 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 eight. Again, it's one away. We almost have a six digits worth of digits that must only be here, which would then force this to be something, which would then force things to occur. So let's, but I think this can go all the way up to seven, 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 eight, 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 nine. Yes, that is correct, unless we can somehow reduce the, uh, the, the last possible digit that's on this thing. And that just might be the course we want to try to take, because that does seem to be able to get us into this thing, if we can make it work. So again, we know the highest this could be is 8. The lowest this can ever be is 6 we're going to end up having everything between those. And this is insane number or amount of marking. What about the correlation between these two? We might be able to 
do something further with this and I just didn't take a look at it. Now, if this is a five, it breaks the puzzle, doesn't it? Yeah, I should have seen that earlier. Because if this is a five, this has to be a six. If this is a six, this also has to be a five. So this is our five. And we can get rid of that and we can now start looking down the line. We know one of these has to be a seven because it's either six, seven, or seven, eight. So there's no seven here. But looking down the line at that being a five, we've just reduced all of our minimums, and now I think we've got ourselves into this thing. And three, and two, and one. Yeah, that's going to get everything done. This has to be six. Okay. So I could have definitely got into that a lot easier if I had just looked at the right place. This is a six. This has to be a seven. Uh, this cannot be 6, so therefore this can't be 6 anymore. We had removed these. These are an 8, 9 pair, so this is 7. This is 6. That 7 means this has to be 7, and that's going to start reducing the rest of this stuff as well. This is a 4, 5 pair, so this has to be 7. Therefore, I think we're going to have to have 7, 8, 8, 8, 9. Yes, we are. So this is 7, 8, 8. 8, 9, and we can get rid of 8 here, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff, we probably didn't even need to go this far into this kind of marking, as I kind of said at the beginning anyway. Okay, let's get reorganized here, none of these can be 7s, so this can't be 6, this can't be 5, so we've got that reduced down now. What else do we now have? This has to be an 8-9 pair, and we have an 8, so we get our 9 and our 8. This can't be 3 or 6. And these are now 1, 2, and 9, and these can't be 9, so this is 9. So we get the 1-2 pair here. This can't be 5. This can't be four. This can't be three. Okay. So as we get into it now, we're going to start seeing how things are being reduced by the combinations of our slow thermos. Now, let's take a look at Sudoku, because we might have gotten some digits enough to the point where we can start saying something elsewhere. Because we essentially have three of our thermos well this one is a four five let's finalize that uh, mostly set so let's see what we get one of these is a five one of these is these are little bits and pieces of information here uh, we get a 6. Okay, so this is our 6. That does four sixes down here. Let's move on. Don't want to spend too much time on some of these. Let's just see if there's anything really obvious in front of us that we can just blast through. This is a 5-7 pair. Can we use this to make a reduction? Because if this is 5 or 7, this can never be 6, because we have a 6 looking at it. So it's either going to be the 4 or the 8. Now, if this is 4, that doesn't really do too much. What about these guys, though? Because we have this column. So maybe these interaction of those two is going to be useful for us. We need 3, we need 4, and we need 8. This can't be 3, this can't be 4, this can't be 8. This is a three. Okay, so that's what's going to do it. Yeah, we just had to kind of continue to that. This is a three. This would have to be a two or a four. It can't be. So this is eight. That's going to force all of these to be eight. This is seven. This is five. This is four. This is three. And we can probably continue on. That eight there gives us nine and eight. And I think we have pretty much everything there. Yeah, all of those are done. Let's look at our fives, because I know we put a bunch of those in. This is five. So this is not. 
This can't be four. This can't be four. What are these three digits? Let's look at it this way. We've got one, two, and four. I don't. No, I don't quite see anything there. So let's just go back to our previous versions. Three. So that goes gives us that three there. These are from one, two, and four as well, which means these have to be from five, seven, and nine. This can't be five or seven, so it's nine. These are not nines. We got that. These are three givens of one, two, and six. This can't be two or six, so it's one. These are not ones. So we get that two, six pair. Nothing quite finalizing. This eight here has to be nine because it can't be seven. These have to be from three, five, and seven. This is not seven. This is not five. Can we make this work in any way? If this is three, this would have to be two. If this is seven, uh, this would have to be six. And we, oh, we do get a two six pair there, so we can put this digit in, which is the one. And from there, we can start to reduce our options that we previously had, one, two, three, and four. We already have. So we must have the six and the nine. We can't put a nine on a black crop key. So nine and six. And if this is a six, this has to be a three. These two have to be from two and nine. Two and nine. We have a nine. So let's do that. Two, nine, one, two. This can't be two. What are these guys now? We've got one, four, and six, I think. This can't be four or six, so it's one. So this is four, this is six. This is a one, two pair. These two are from three and something. This one's the three, oh, the four is the other one. So these are not fours. So we get the one, two pair to put another four in. These are not fours, so this is good. <coughs> So we're moving along now. I just, again, had to find that right spot to start looking at, but this is uh, going quite swiftly and smoothly once we've got things going. This is four by Sudoku. This is six. These guys have to be from one, two, and nine. This can't be one or nine, so it's two. Uh, this can't be nine, so it's one. This is nine. Then we get the twos and the ones will unravel. Two. This is three and one. This is five. This is seven and five. Yep, everything's just going now. This is three, so this has to be two, six, two. And we can finish all of these columns. This one now must be six. This one must be four. And this one must be seven. There we go. You saw the puzzle. Solution is correct. So again, that was certainly a fun puzzle. And it was, of course, uh, Nothing too difficult, which was the whole point of the puzzle. But uh, <clears throat> again, it's a great day to have a, a nice, fun, good flow puzzle to get into because my brain is hurting. <laughs> Anywho, hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.